Hi guys, welcome to our next video in our series from Salou. Uh, as you've seen, we were at Port Aventura yesterday. Uh, crazy day, uh, very, very warm and, and very, very busy. So whenever we left the hotel after breakfast yesterday, we uh, got a taxi up to the park from the hotel. A uh, couple of quite steep hills up to the, ho up to the, the park. So that cost us six euro. Uh, and it drops you right outside the entrance to the park uh, and then you have a short walk up to the turnstiles uh, but very very warm at 10 o'clock it was even it was 29 degrees yesterday morning at that time so it was very 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 warm yeah so whenever we got into the park um the first thing we did was go around to the little train in mediterranean which takes you kind of round the park um so that was quite nice to get on and um, we did that first uh, and it took us round to the far west part of the park um however whenever we were standing waiting on the train for about 10 minutes within a half an hour of being in the park furious Baco, which is the first roller coaster you come to in mediterranean the wait time for it was already an hour and 50 minutes. So wait times were crazy yesterday. Um, some of the really popular rides, like the Street Mission in Sesame Street Land, a really bright indoor dark ride, um, it was like two hours, 30 minutes at times. So it was like the wait times were crazy. Um, they were very, very long. It was really busy. I have been to the Port of Ventura so many times before. This is probably about my fifth or sixth time being there. And um, I had never seen it as busy as we saw it yesterday. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously was, yesterday was my first time visiting the park. Uh, as Rachel has said, she's been five or six times before. Uh, really great theming around the park. Uh, the theming in all the areas, Mexico, uh, Wild West, Far West, Mediterranean, very, very, very good. Uh, and it's all great to see and they've loads of music playing in the Western area. It's very, 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 very good. So, uh, yeah, the only thing I would say about it now, and Rachel has been before, a lot of the areas weren't actually open. They were advertised that they opened at 11.30 and, and what have you. And, and some of the eating places weren't open, uh, which, which sort of take, uh, took away from it a wee bit for me. Uh, speaking to friends who are traveling with us as well, they had sort of said they had been whenever it was all open. And I, I think that probably adds to the queuing times and some of the things. If, if other rides, smaller rides were open, it probably wouldn't be as big a queues on the, on the bigger rides. As Rachel said, some of the, the, the big coasters Shambhala and Dragon Khan, two hour waits to get on to those. So it was really, really, really disappointing uh, for those who were going on to those. Obviously, uh, me and Rachel wouldn't be going on to those. There's only a certain number of rides that we probably could have done. Uh, the likes of the uh, Rapids uh, and maybe the, the Log Flume, maybe as well. But we. Uh, yeah, we were very disappointed with the the, uh, the fact that a lot of areas of the park weren't actually open. Uh, and we thought, I thought for me, that took away from the experience a wee bit. Yeah, um, and also the park is so expensive. So we had lunch in the park and, um, you know, for, for two or three people, you we were talking at least 35 euro for a very bog standard lunch, quite small portions. Um, so, so yeah, it is expensive. Like a bottle of Coke Zero was about three euro ninety or something. It, it was wild. Um, so it was very expensive. It is so nice to do Port Aventura and to experience it and to go. But you know, we have the three day to park kind of ticket plus you get entry into Ferrari Land. But um, but really and truly, you would probably need two full days of Port Aventura minimum to actually get on a certain number of rides if you wanted to do all the roller coasters like th that wait time was crazy um but again it's so lovely to experience it and um and tomorrow night we're hoping to go up and see the fireworks yeah. um and the show at the end of the night so the festival um so we're looking forward to doing that as well so yeah in the afternoon then yesterday we left the park around three o'clock uh, it got really, really warm in the afternoon. I think the high was about 33 degrees. 
uh, and we just decided that look, we've had enough and we, we come back down the hill. Uh, there's two hills, as Rachel already said, up to the hotel, up to the, the park. Uh, and we're our hotel, we're lucky, is right at the very bottom of the second hill. So it's easier to walk down as it is to walk up. Uh, that's why we got the taxi up yesterday morning. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we came back down to the hotel uh, and just last night just had dinner. And then we watched the entertainment here at the hotel. And I have to say that the entertainment here at the Villa Romana is very, very good. And that's from the kids uh, animation team who are around the pool all day. Uh, and then the mini disco at night for kids before the main entertainment starts in the evening. And last night it was a, it was a quiz last night. Uh, so it was so it was very, very good uh, and very, very enjoyable. I think our plans for tomorrow are that we are going to go on the tourist train in Sulu uh, and we're going to do that in the morning and then in the afternoon we're just going to come back to the hotel uh, and do some lying about the pool, uh, get into the pool for a wee while, maybe try the spa in the early evening, have dinner and then our plan tomorrow night is to go back up to Port Ventura to do the, the parade and then the show and the fireworks uh, around about half 10, quarter to 11 tomorrow night. So watch out for that and uh, yeah. Yeah, so we did try the spa again today um, at about four o'clock. It's kind of closed for a few hours in the middle of the afternoon from one until four. And it opened again at four and we didn't realize that it was like a children's hour from four until five and the place was inundated with children. So we only stayed for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then came out of the spa again. So um, we'll definitely remember to try it earlier in the morning whenever there was nobody else there like it was the last time we were there. So as we say, thanks for watching again. Don't, remember, uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the videos. Uh, uh, hit the wee subscribe button to follow the channel uh, and subscribe to the channel. And for all notifications and all our up and coming videos, don't forget to hit that wee bell. And we'll see you all really soon. Bye. Bye.